Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Happy Friday to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see what this energy is like for you guys. Okay, so let's go. Don't forget, flip the rose. Take only what you need. Leave the rest and use the spirit of discernment. Okay, don't force anything to fit. I'm not sure if you're masculine or feminine. I'm just going to speak the energies. Now, let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides, for helping me with this reading for Virgo. Thank you that my true guides are here with me to deliver this message. I ask that the portals are closed to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will. That all karmic energies are blocked out. Thank you for protecting my throat chakra. And so it is. Ooh, buddy. Remember... This could be anybody's energy that's around you, or it could be yours, okay? Daughter romance is in the reverse. Indecision is up here, and the man holding a coin in the reverse, all right? So what I have here is like, of course, it feels like it's certain, it's some type of delays here when it comes to the matters of the heart, right? Love. Somebody has to make a decision. And what I'm seeing here with this man holding a coin in the reverse, it's like, this person is not offering anything when it comes to a relationship or commitment or um, something serious. Let's just put it that way. Okay. So tell me about the door to romance in the reverse position here. King of Cups in a reverse position. So this King of Cups is literally triggered okay um they may be very triggered right now when it comes to the matters of love okay all right so what is triggering this king of cups right now oh, a queen of wands reverse okay so this this king of cups reverse is triggered by a queen of wands reverse a karmic energy a fire sign energy okay this person may be being very demanding or revengeful or creating arguments here with them all right now what is this is about what are these arguments about Ooh. i feel like here It's about you, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles upright. <laughs> I was not expecting that to come out. Mm. Why are they arguing about Virgo? Look, Queen of Pentacles again, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. Why are they arguing about Virgo? Mm, 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 mm. Why are they arguing about Virgo? Three of Cups up right. So we got third party situation. I just seen 333 on a time up. All right. Maybe because they're connected to you. Okay, you're their closest friend. All right, and they're arguing about you because of that. Okay, yep, Knight of Cups upright. They're arguing with them because they have been texting you, um, messaging you, or something here, or going out with you. Okay. Here with the temperance card coming out here. All right, so let's see. I feel like here, ooh, the cards are just flying, y'all. Seven of Wands upright in the Four of Cups. So it's like they're trying to protect you. It's like they maybe, you know, was trying to remain calm. It's like this situation is stressful. It's like this this masculine energy is trying to remain strong. Um, I said strong, definitely balance, and even being patient is what I'm seeing. But it's like when it comes to you, they're standing up for you. Okay. Um, 
Definitely. They're standing up, they're setting boundaries and everything. It's like this person may be challenging your position, challenging who you are. Okay, here with the four cups coming out here in the upright position. Tell me about that. Tell me about the four cups. They've been contemplating. This person, this queen of wands, this karmic energy has been contemplating or ten of wands comes out reverse. Note what I'm feeling like here. Who's been contemplating? One second. They've been contemplating about you. It's almost like they've been trying to act like they're happy that they're si that they're single, that they're doing their own thing, and they like everything is fine. You know, do what you want to do, start something new. You know, with that nine of pentacles, ten of swords, and this page of wands energy. Whatever you going to do, I'm good. You know, it feels like this is what it is. It's like, but they're not. They've gained some type of clarity about something. What was that? What was the clarity that was gained here? Ooh, and they brought the towers down. Lord have mercy. So what was the clarity or awareness that this queen of wands? The cards are just dropping, y'all. <laughs> they, The queen of wands upright. They gained some awareness about you, about Virgo. How? You and some of you are in the limelight. Okay, some of you are actually being seen publicly. Tell me about this. Manifesting your goals. It's like whatever you're doing is is it's definitely for for whoever is actually, you know, really focused on their goals and and people are knowing about it is what I'm seeing. Show me what I need to see. I feel like you even had a tower moment here too with this person. So again, this is like third party situations. Yeah, five of sword comes out. That's two people walking away here. It's a lot of conflict and disagreements going on here, okay? But it feels like here with that queen of wands energy, this karmic energy in the reverse, okay? So that, let me just say karmic to make it easy. This karmic energy is actually fighting to win that's what it seems like they don't care they in this point yep yep seven of swords seven of wands upright it's like they're fighting to win at this point i don't care if we walk away with a sense of bad blood you know that queen of, queen of wands reverses is is, tre is treacherous y'all <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> okay and that's what i feel like they're in that energy of they're fighting here go the emperor in the reverse position here so, and they're mad because who they thought was their emperor, and this could be somebody's child, you know, father or something like that. It could be the karmic, it, your person has children with them um, or something like that. I don't know, you know, the connections, but what I'm seeing is like, they are literally, wow. They're prepared to fight. Just, just put it that way. Because this is a competitive environment. Again, it's like your person here may have definitely created this environment. Okay? I'm seeing that. Because if they're coming as a man holding a coin in a reverse and an emperor in a reverse, it's like they are not really that structured. They're not offering anybody anything. It's just like they are, yeah. Having these connections is what I'm seeing here. Um wow and they are literally challenging your position in this person's life like <laughs> Lusa. yep page of swords comes out 
next to this king of pentacles in a reverse that's the man holding a coin in the reverse position same same energy and it's like yeah whatever they they it's a lot it's a lot that's being communicated here a lot of ideas i mean it ain't no holding back on expressing these truths like the truths are the truth is coming out tell me about this what's coming out what is being expressed by the King of Pentacles reverse. High Priest is upright. Mm. High Priestess, Three of Cups, Reverse, and then here goes Virgo again, right? It's a Queen of Pentacles. And it's like this person, this karmic energy has this idea. That's how I'm saying it. It's like they got these ideas, okay? And definitely I'm, I'm feeling like they're getting some intuitive downloads. Okay, they're getting some, they getting some messages here. And they're understanding now why, you know, uh, this your person here wants to be single, okay, or want to be by themselves is because of you. So it's like whatever they're getting, they're getting it through intuition or through tarot or something. They may be watching tarot. Look at that the death and the three of cups comes out in an upright position. Elaborate on this three of cups. They're realizing here, like, okay, wait, it's not just me in the picture. Tell me about the Three of Cups. It's more than what it is. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Yep. Knight of Pentacles comes out with the Six of Swords energy. So they see here where um, this masculine energy is headed to. It's like they've been moving forward, right? They know why there has been this ending the way it's been. Okay, because they've been moving forward and they've been doing it kind of slow. But of course, this masculine energy is leaving behind, you know, what no longer serves them. It's like they're closing out cycles here is what I'm seeing. It's like whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, whether whatever it is, whatever the baggage may be, this masculine energy is releasing that baggage and they're moving ahead. So some way this karmic energy has gotten that intuitive download. Tell me about this. Yep, Six of Cups upright comes out. Something here that they were thinking about. You know how you just start thinking about certain situations especially throughout the past and you start putting shit together that's how i'm seeing it like wait a minute <laughs> tell me about the indecision card they're seeing why your person here has been so indecisive. Like, why they haven't made a decision? They're seeing, it's like everything is being, all I keep hearing is everything is being made clear. Okay. Look at that. Yep. Six of Wands reverse. The Devil card comes out reverse. The Six of Pentacles comes out. In the tower in the reverse they're seeing why everything has been delayed why things haven't been happening for them you know why there haven't been any type of you know good changes for them okay they're seeing it all it's like why they're going through these upheavals and everything is about it's simply because of the fact that this um this masculine energy has been giving to virgo and them okay in some kind of way, whatever the dynamic could be. It's like they've been putting their, giving their energy here to two people. That's how I'm seeing it. 
okay and mm, let me tell you they've been trying to manifest this connection in here go the magician card coming out the karmic has been trying to manifest this connection in but they haven't been able to successfully do it the death of rebirth is here in the in the reverse position they literally been trying to cling on to this they haven't been you know whatever is going on it's like they've been trying to cling on to this situation they haven't they've been refusing to like literally let this go okay two of wands comes out in the reverse position on top of that so it's it's literally it's 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 a it hasn't been working it's just been an unexpected obstacles and everything and now they're seeing here okay this is why they have been this masculine energy has been so hesitant when it comes to making plans with me this is why this isn't working this is why we have these obstacles it's because of a third party situation it's because of somebody else tell me about the man holding look 1104 on a on the timer this could be somebody's um twin flame tell me about the man holding a coin in the reverse four cups in a reverse position this this uh this person has definitely became aware they awaken look at that ace of swords to the truth straight like that they're awakened to the truth and it's like down there changing their mind because they know the truth okay they got this clarity here and this is what will bring through this breakthrough okay they were confused and unsure at first this is why they're not offering anything here with the nine of cups in the upright position this person recognizes what their happiness is and that's just what it is and it feels like that's what they're following it's like this person is going towards you know their emotional contentment what makes them happy things like that they were very unsure about this with you at first virgo but now it's like they're ready to start something new they're ready to move forward and it's showing it's showing look at that two of wands upright this masculine energy here has been literally planning okay and making decisions all right so whatever is switching this energy around here it's like they're more focused here on their long-term goals at this point and look at that it's causing conflict five of swords because again this masculine energy is leaving behind some people which is the karmic energy all right the tower card in the in the seven of wands again right you saw buddy i felt like i needed to hold on y'all i wasn't expecting this to come out y'all all right no i was all like ooh, ooh. <laughs> hold up i bringing the tea on a freaking Friday okay so mm, distance on the horizon all right marriage again like I said it's like this could be some type of commitment it could be a twin flame dynamic I'm seeing it could be um whatever it is something is ending some distance is there on the horizon I, I want to see something real quick It's an enabling and usually a positive card. It means yearning, dreams, hopes, wishes. And this card is literally coming out next to um, the marriage card. So... Mm, that's interesting so i was looking at it it says if it's near like if the night the card number 19 is there which it is is the coffin card it could mean um night time so hmm something's going to take place at night time it could be happening at night time whatever the energy is that's happening right now is like yeah Mm, 
So the silver lining is on the horizon, y'all. Tell me about the distance on the horizon. Yep, Knight of Cups. Next to the Four of Cups, reverse. This masculine energy is very clear, honey. They are aware, okay? And they um, here, the Knight of Cups comes out again, right? I don't think that should have came out in the reverse, but I do feel like it's a lot of disappointment. And they've been trying to avoid the conflict. It's like, that's how I'm seeing it there, okay? Um, but it's, it's too late. The conflict is there. Look at that Queen of Pentacles reverse, all right? So the conflict is there. The karmic energy is still kind of coming through here um, with the reading. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone who could be very shallow, self-absorbed in relationships for the wrong reason, right? And it, it's like, it's all about like some type of status with them. But what I feel is like, that's what, what's going on. It's like this Knight of Cups. This masculine energy is now beginning to really realize here, like, I got to distance myself from some things. I got to close out certain cycles here. Look at that. The death card. They're going through a transformation is what I'm seeing. And they're changing their belief systems and how they see things. The magician is coming out too as well. I feel like they have the willpower to actually do this at this point. Okay. Tell me about the marriage card. 1110. Let me see something. I felt like I wanted to use the other deck. Tell me about the marriage card. Yep, the lovers here in the reverse position. It's an ending. Mm hmm It's gonna be an ending. Um an ending. I feel like because that's in the reverse position, that's definitely the conflict that's being had with this other situation here. Okay, it's a lot of disharmony here. A lot of bad choices have been made, but it's some major choices that are also being made. And someone is beginning, like, I feel like it's this masculine energy. They're beginning to hold fast to their own personal values, okay, at this point. This is literally like a disunion, a detachment. Yeah, somebody is disconnecting here from um, some type of commitment or some type of uh, marriage or it could be, you know, friendship, whatever it is. It's some type of union, okay? And I got the page of swords that came out in the reverse position, all right? So, wow. It's like... What is this card about? Tell me. Show me about this page of swords in the reverse. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I want to look up something real quick, y'all. Three of Pentacles. And that's why I was like, what? wait a minute. Okay. So it's literally like some type of ill will. Somebody... It, Everything that they're doing right now is literally, and that's how I'm seeing it. It's like they're not doing it from the right perspective or the right energy. They're doing it based off. Remember, I was like with that Five of Swords card that came out. That's somebody who's fighting to win. It don't matter, right? I don't care who get hurt. I don't care. You understand? Um, if we walk away with a bad sense of blood from this, it, I'm out to kill at this point. And that's what it feels like. It's like whoever this is, their intentions, whether it's that Queen of Wands reverse or whether it's, you know, your person here, however, but again, that karmic came out as a queen of wands reverse. So most likely it's that in energy that's coming in, right? Like right there is it feels like they don't care. Like they're reckless here with their mouth. It's like, even down to the words that they're saying, it's like, they're trying to cut this, um, masculine energy down. I feel like they may have even said, you know, you waste, you're a waste of time or you're wasting my time. Okay. A lot of disappointment here. Okay, so tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about this. this. Tell me about the ill intentions. Yeah, moving on. Boom, Eight of Cups. It feels like, again, like the universe is literally bringing the towers down on the karmic, on the karmic situation, y'all. And because 
This karmic feels abandoned. This is why they are acting out is what I just heard. But this um, masculine energy, they're letting go. They're like, no. Mm -mm. They had a, a fear of moving on, but they're not in that fearful state anymore. They reached their limit is what I just heard. They reached their limit. Tell me about the coffin card. Yep, they made a choice. Two of Wands, the Temperance card, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so again, as you can see, like the universe is heavily orchestrating this, the angelic guides, everything. Bringing some type of balance here. Because, of course, you know, there's a path that you got to choose. You got to take one. And what I feel like. You know how sometimes we think the grass going to be green on the other side. It may come off appearing like, okay, this may be good. But when people got alternative motives and they're they are doing things for their own personal gain, of course, they're going to put on this facade like it is what it is. But then as soon as they're not getting what they they want, again, like how that Queen of Wands came out in reverse, they end up turning into the reverse Queen of Wands. They end up getting very explosive. Okay, but... Mm hmm. This masculine energy is definitely making a quick decision and um, they could be making a very quick decision. And, and that's where that ending is coming in. So what is this karmic saying about Virgo? Just saying that this basically is what's bringing an imbalance to that co connection and why um, your person here is, is not coming in. It's just more almost as if it's, they're blaming you, okay, for um, your person here being just basically saying they're being greedy or, or, or however, right? Or tell them they even make a, making a mistake. It's like I'm also hearing like, oh, this is why you ain't keeping to a certain routine. You know, like they usually may have been doing certain things in a certain way and they're not doing that no more and again it's like they really feel like you're the reason for this happening they're devastated okay they're devastated um death card comes out again because it, it's an it's an ending it's a lot of upheavals and it's like it's unexpected so i feel like they've been kind of like really trying to play like oh no i'm good you understand this this and that and mm -mm. nah this is different it's hitting different is what i'm seeing some somebody want the karmic may have just came back from traveling from somewhere okay as well and, and and came into this chaos some stuff starting to you know come out okay i feel like a lot of stuff has been coming out and they've been trying to be patient. They've been trying to work on the situation. They've been, you know, really doing that. Not realizing that there were other options or other choices or other possibilities. Even though they knew, but they, I feel like the way this Queen of Wands, if they're coming out even again like the Queen, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, this is a type of person that may feel like, yeah, it may be other opportunities, but I'm still going to, you know, I'm still going to be, I'm going to still win. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to still win. Look at, you know, look at me. I got the status. Look how I dress. Look what I drive. Like, you understand? Things like that. So it's kind of based off of where it's more superficial. So they feel like those are the means of how, you know, how they would win, I guess. And that's just what, what I'm seeing here. But no, it's like now, boom, it's leading into delays. You know, the misunderstandings are taking place. All right. So with that eight of wands energy coming out. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Thank you. I got to hurry up, y'all, because I got to get up early in the morning, like 4 a.m. Y'all already know how it be around this month. And then our brunch is tomorrow at 12, so I want to kind of be rested.
I'm not good with timing, y'all, especially around that time. <laughs> I could be up, like I said, at 4 o'clock in the morning, and honey, we'll still be late. I got two cards that came out, it's, and they both in a reverse position. It's the Purification card and the Temptation card. Oh, shoot, it's more than that. I bet. Mean, in Appearances. Y'all can see it. So the purification. I'm going to turn them up right though. And then Medusa. Okay. Well, let's see what that's about. Yeah, this is a time where somebody is definitely coming clean and letting it all out. And that feels like that masculine energy, honey. Whatever they've been harboring in, nah. Those secrets, everything coming out. It's coming out into the light of day. And that's what's going on, y'all. It's coming out. Hmm. Yeah, they realizing they can't continue on this path. It's not just going to go away. It just keeps festering. And now they're facing up to their troubles now. That's what it feels like. If they're not in this energy as of yet, it's happening. It's transpiring. This energy feels very heavy right now. Now tell me about this, dear woman. I feel like this is how the karmic energy is because with if they're in that queen of wands reverse energy that's also they are very seductive and they use sex you know to get what they want uh, they try to entice you through through their sexuality and things like that they try to tempt you and that's what it says um sometimes lessons must be fully experienced to be understood and this is what it was it was about the lessons because um this masculine energy basically connected with this person probably most likely because of temptation you know um and it's risky it feels like this is something that this masculine energy may pretty much kind of get caught up in a lot <laughs> okay the temptation the appearances so this karmic energy again queen of wands reversed they still bad you know what I'm saying? Queen of Pentacles reverse still bad. And I'm talking about bad. Like they may look good. You know, they may be very enticing. You know, because the Queen of Wands is a very beautiful woman or man, however, handsome, however. But yeah, and I feel like that's what really just happened. It was more again about this person's greed. Cause it, they're coming out a man holding a coin. It was like it was never really no intentions. Yeah, that like that, that temptation and that that was what really enticed them. And also, I'm feeling like it's more like the material stuff, the money. Again, King of Wand, King of Cups, uh, King of Pentacles reverse is very materialistic. Okay, as well as the Queen of Pentacles reverse, it's like they were vibrating on the same frequency, and that's how that connection began to to thrive. And what I feel like is because this masculine energy has feelings for another person, which would be you, Virgo. Okay, this um, karmic is going to try to drag them back in using the temptation again. Using the temptation again, right? With their appearance. Again, like that's how I'm seeing them. Like very seductive, very um, sexual in their energy. It's like, it feels like this is a person that may use their looks to get what they want. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we first, we practice to deceive. 
It may look all serene from where you're standing, but wait till the truth comes out and it will. And that's what happened. I feel like, bam, your person here starts seeing this queen of wands for who they were, this karmic. Like, oh, <laughs> the truth coming out. This person ain't really all as serene as they have been planned to be. It's been a trick. This is karma at its finest. All right, yeah, that's it. I don't see nothing else from there that I'm going to pull. But let me tell y'all, mm, this, this situation just took like, whoop, <laughs> whole 360, huh? One second, Virgo, you was on the other end having the towers, right? <laughs> I feel like I need to leave us with something else. What can I get, Spirit Team? So, I got negotiation with Gemini energy, Cancer energy, Aquarius energy coming through. Somebody, literally, it's like rising to the challenge. Because the new path is open now. And it feels like, definitely, look, the lover's card is sitting right here in my face, right? <laughs> Someone is deciding to choose a path. It could be a Gemini. A fresh attitude to your self-expression and your communication skills will help you to embrace a new path or a fresh challenge. And I don't know if y'all remember, I did a read, I did the reading, I think it was like a couple of days ago, and I was telling you guys, like, that's where spirit is at with us, like, except, you know, it's, hey, challenge, this is the time to fight, fight to win, right? And this is what's happening right now, and I feel like, Virgo, you stepped it up a notch here in your side of the world with whatever you're doing, and you doing that is showing, like, look, even even though it seems like I'm having these challenges, I'm trying, I'm going to do and take new approaches here to actually like have a more fulfilling life. You chose your path. And this is why this is happening. Because you chose your path, it helped here your person to choose one too. Now, again, like I said, it feels like definitely twin flame energy coming through higher level soulmate energy. It's not on no karmic it, y'all. So don't get it twisted. Choose which battles to fight and which battles to let go. Yep. See the obstacles as opportunities. I always say that. I look at them like, yeah, oh, okay, you just gave me an opportunity here. I'm good. Let's go. Help me level up. And then with the um, belonging card, I want to see what that's about. Could be a cancer you're connected to. Yep, this is a good time to consider the next phase in your life concerning your family, your property, or domestic circumstances. Consider your sense of belonging, acceptance, and understanding of your needs and requirements, and those of someone else will be necessary and beneficial for moving forward. Okay, so a parent, a child, or a property will require a fresh perspective on living arrangements moving further into the future. Wow. Wow. Some, some may be ready to upgrade or downgrade depending on your situation. Your domestic circumstances are likely to be led by emotional concerns just now. So what do you really need, okay, especially in your home? And does it provide you with that, that emotional stability? If not, ask yourself how can you create more stability in your home life, okay? A nesting process may be underway. Perhaps you would like to grow your family. <laughs> 
Y'all heard that. I've been hearing that some Virgos is going to be pregnant. I don't know who. <laughs> Emotionally, a peak is being reached. If you're in sync, in sync with your emotions, this is a fulfilling time. Parenting and your relationships with your parents may prove particularly fulfilling. You may, at the very least, find yourself spending more time focusing on matters to do with parenting or parents. If your emotions are topsy-turvy, consider balancing them with the help of an expert, such as a healthcare professional or through meditation. This card signifies deepening of psychic and mystical experiences. Dreams may become more frequent or clear. You may even experience premonitions or wish to deepen your understanding of the occult. The spiritually minded will reach deep realizations. This is your time to blossom and gain deep understanding of yourself, those you love, and your path in life. You may have a strong intuitive psychic abilities. This is an excellent time to step up to the next level with your abilities. But I say, these obstacles is leveling you up. Accept them. <laughs> Be okay with them. Embrace them. Love on them. Okay? Because you can overcome them. You're not alone on your journey. All right? It's, it's nothing you can't overcome with, with God by your side and your guides, your angelic guides helping you. But you moving forward here. Okay? <laughs> Opportunities could be connected to an Aquarius. 41-41 on my time. And y'all see the synchronicities. This is a readiness for change. I feel like you and your person is ready to change it up. Tired of going through the same dynamic. Making the same bad choices. You guys then chose a path. Woo! Thank you. You're ready for something new. Readiness for change can bring about fresh circumstances whether you initiate them or not. And because of this readiness, this is what has shifted everything the universe was like oh y'all ready ready okay <laughs> bring the changes can get kind of chaotic but it helps to close out the cycle the changes come out of the blue or they have already taken you by surprise this card represents new opportunities that are stepping stones to a better life or news that simply astounds you an interest in an esoteric will take you to new places a fresh relationship at this time could be may be exciting, but if you feel insecure or wish to find stability through a relationship, this union may prove to to destabilize to destabilizing to be fulfilling. Got it. So if you insecure, yeah, work on that. But Virgo, we've been doing out that damn thing, right? We've been healing, right? So it says for the freedom. But for the freedom loving, this relationship can represent a perfect dynamic, mutual respect and willingness to be independent and openly pursue other relationships. This card can represent the one off, the on off dynamic of a disruptive relationship. Perhaps you or your partner is unwilling to commit, but lack of commitment will undermine this relationship and can lead to the insecurities. But however, as you can see, there's an opportunity here where there's a, res a readiness to change. So this on and off dynamic that you guys have had this disruptive relationship here things are shifting if you're insecure it will definitely stay the same so you got to be really open here to to operate in your independence it's like that willingness to have that because that feels like what both of you seek When it comes to technology or digital age and humanitarian efforts, these areas in your life may appeal to you now. Be innovative and ready to try something new as the overall message in this card. However, it's important to combine your more eccentric and inventive ideas with realistic ways to implement them. You may feel that new beginnings or, or altering the, state of the status quo will represent upheaval. But guess what? Hey. It's, it's pushing you in a whole new direction. Rest assured that any sense of upheaval should be worth the effort, especially if you are open to change and consider life as a journey of discovery. Upheavals ain't all that bad, huh? Because it helps you to align yourself with you, your higher purpose in life. You could be connected to a Pisces I just came to. Okay, so look, I'm ready to go. That was intense. I love y'all. <laughs>
that was intense y'all i'm telling you i hope you definitely gained something you know if it did resonate make sure you stay positive i know y'all gonna be able to smile on your face <laughs> but guess what it's through your diligence your your effort okay your faith and your hope that's helping you to transform your own life and that's what it's about you now becoming a vibrational match to what it is that you desire and what you deserve okay so remember that keep your vibes high you want healthy relationships and connections in your life situations in your life okay and if this is definitely your person and the way that it's looking is like that you got a whole bunch of assistance in the spiritual realm here Okay, that's helping you with this connection. Again, divine counterparts and higher level soulmate energies, y'all. Not karmics, okay. <laughs> You're going to be good. So please, find your confidence. Confidence is key in this journey. All right, y'all? So, good night. Peace.